guys, my name is Elle, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be quite a long and chatty one. I have my A-levels starting tomorrow and I thought I'd just document, you know, my reactions after each exam. Some of my favourite YouTubers have also done this when they were sitting their A-levels, so I thought it'd be a fun thing to look back on maybe when like I'm finishing uni or something. <laughs> Before this video gets any further, I thought I'd just say that I do maths, further maths and physics A-level. I live in Wales, so I do the exam board called WJEC, which usually means that our exams are about three weeks later than everyone else's. So this video starts on June the 4th and ends on the Friday of that week. I can't remember the date, but yeah, there's some context. Today is the 4th of June and my first exam is tomorrow. It's the exam that I am dreading the most, but it's the first one so it'll be over and done with. This morning I've been doing a lot of revision for it, so I went through the whole spec and kind of wrote down all the methods, all like hints and like tips for myself. So tomorrow I can read this before I go in and it's just got the whole course all laid out. So that is everything for this exam, which is actually a lot, if I'm being perfectly honest. Also, I started doing one of the papers, um, I've done this one about two weeks ago, I think. I don't know, I've done this in the past, so yeah, I've been just doing some of the questions and I left out the ones that I can do confidently, because there's no point wasting time on stuff I already know how to do when time is not of the essence and I got a bit stuck on this question before I had lunch so I'm gonna get the answer up and work through it now. I'm not gonna do a time lapse for this video, um, maybe later, but for now I'll just pick you up when I next feel like it. So see you soon. Hi guys, so it is much later. It's now I think 10 to 11 and I'm just about to go attempt to sleep. Um, basically I didn't talk much later, but I did seven and a half hours of revision today, which is actually a lot for me. I wasn't even planning on doing that many. I was like, right, I'll get to four and see how I feel. I got to four and I was like, let's do this. I got to five. I was like, I'll keep going. I got to six and I was like, might as well. Got to seven and I was like, well, it's half an hour till my boyfriend's coming over, so might as well do more. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm hoping it all pays off. Um, so yeah, I've only been doing further maths today because further maths is tomorrow and I'm very, very nervous for it, but I'm going to try and go to sleep now and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye! Hi guys! So it is the next morning. Ah, um, so yeah, it's an afternoon exam, so it is half eight now and I'm probably going to leave about nine-ish to make sure I get there plenty of time. I will be like four hours early, but we have a nice library in college, so I'll just go there. As for my outfit, I just straighten my hair. I've got bobbles so I can put it up in the exam, got my glasses. I did put on mascara, which is a bit brave of me because I'm probably gonna cry. I got on a blue tank top and some joggers. I just packed my bag, everything that I need, and I'm gonna have breakfast. I think I'm gonna have some muffins. I'm in college. I probably won't talk now until later, but wish me luck. Oh my god, I'm so scared. This is me and my friend Emily. We raided our teacher's classroom and wrote all over the whiteboard. My first exam went really, really well. Yay! So, I will update you more later. What is my hair doing? Hold on. I'll update you guys more later. For now, I'm gonna have food because I didn't eat lunch because I was so scared and I'm really, really hungry. But yeah. <laughs> so. I thought I'd talk about the exam whilst I'm just sitting outside with my cats. Um, probably horrible lighting, but oh well. Cute cats. For the win. So I was really nervous beforehand, like really, really nervous. And I went in, I was like one of the last ones in. Oops. But I made it and like <laughs> my teacher was like, good vibes, good vibes. <laughs> She's so nice. Um, so yeah. Um, I was in a different seat to last time because if you remember my last year video um, Unit 1 Fib Maths Core which is basically the equivalent of what I sat today but AS 
it's like first year um was horrendous last year and it was in the same room so i feel like the universe has really tested me because i was really scared to go back in there and have another awful exam but it was okay i mean i know i've got questions a few questions wrong but i've got the method and that's what really matters because if you get full marks on a third mass paper you might as well already be in uni not gonna lie so at least i've gotten some of the marks i'm hoping hopefully get like a hundred out of 120 that's like that would be perfect i hope <laughs> but yeah a lot a lot of my other friends said that they also found it really good so yay so happy it's the one i was most scared about and it's out the way there's the other one semester <gasps> hello i am gonna go inside now I feel like my face is getting sunburned. I'm gonna change into comfy clothes. Yay! You know, I said I was gonna do work. I have done nothing. I, it's just, I'm so tired. <laughs> like all the stress leading up to that one exam and then doing it two and a half hours straight. Oh my god. So I've been watching So In B with my mum, who we were watching the first season. And I'm just gonna make a plan of tomorrow so I get up and I just do. <laughs> Cause basically that's what I need to do right now. Tomorrow's plan has been set. So quite a lot planned for tomorrow. Um, my plan is get up at seven, my normal time. I used to get up at six, but it just wasn't sustainable cause I started going out with my friends and they wouldn't drop me off until like half 11 and waking up at 6 is not fun after you come home at 12 so <laughs> I've changed that to go into bed at 11 most nights and waking up at 7 which actually is a decent amount of sleep you know like it's been quite helpful but yeah I'm so glad that fifth and last unit 4 is done it's over I feel like you know that song whoa that is the song right now because boy has further maths core been an absolute battle to get through and that's it it's done <laughs> i'm quite tired now my brain really hurts i've taken like three paracetamols maybe four because i just keep getting so many headaches and yeah it's not fun so i'm definitely not going to be going on my phone much tonight and i'll probably stick on some music and pick out a book to read or maybe i'll just lie there and try and fall asleep now nice early night i definitely need it so it is about quarter to nine i've got my breakfast which my dad made me and i've just gotten dressed into a t-shirt and shorts i'm not feeling like going into college today so i am gonna work from home i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and watch a youtube video hi guys i thought i would just check in so i barely filmed anything this morning i just couldn't get out of bed but we got there in the end and i spent about two and a half hours this morning doing the 2022 core maths paper because I haven't done it yet and what should I get? got 97 out of 120 which hits my target of 95 out of 120 quite well and later I'm gonna redo all the questions I got wrong I like to give it a bit of time before I do it so that took about two and a half hours this morning and then I had lunch and for the last hour, I've been doing all of the wrong questions on the 2019 paper. Now I did this paper weeks ago, like probably three or four weeks ago. So it's been a while. So they were kind of like really fresh in my head and I got most of them right. Some stupid mistakes, like always. For example, I divided by two instead of 0 0.2. So my whole answer was uh, a power of 10 off. Yay. And what was the other one? So, I, I said a plus times a minus is a plus. Yay! It's just lots of little stupid mistakes at this point. 
but we're working on it, we're working on it. I definitely think functions is my weakest topic. So I'm not gonna do it today, but tomorrow I will get my textbook out. Blah. <laughs> I will get my textbook out and I will do the entire chapter again, which is probably like the third time I've done it, but it's just needed at this point. I need to get functions right. <laughs> I'm outside. I just done two and a half hours of work. So I did an hour and a half of physics and an hour of maths. So in my hour of maths, I only managed to do the 2019 wrong questions. So I still have the 2022, 2018, and Sam's questions, which I'm going to do in a bit. Um, I did uh, all six chapters. I bloated them all. I did all of them. That took about an hour and a half just because it's quite mentally draining and I needed a quick break after each one just to like reset my mind, not gonna lie. Okay, so it has been a bit and now I think I'm gonna do physics. I was gonna do maths, but I think I'm in more of a mood to do physics questions. So I'm gonna go through and download all of the papers digitally and just do all the questions that I previously got wrong. So this is all of the papers that we have in one document and the math scheme for the sample paper so I don't have to dig for it later. So I'm not going to do every question but if I can't immediately think of an answer in my head I think it would be a really good idea just to work through the whole question just because of time limits and some stuff I know quite well. Hi guys, so I thought I'd update you just before I go to bed. So. I don't know when the last video i done was, but I've done eight hours of work in total, which I'm actually quite proud of. It's quite decent for me. And yeah, it was a bit more relaxed and enjoying myself, but I think it's important to keep morale high. So um, I had tea and then I joined a call with all my friends and <laughs> they played Roblox for ages and I was just doing a maths paper and like listening. But then I suggested playing Gartic Phone, so we played Gartic Phone for nearly two hours. I actually really love Gartic Phone and it was so funny. So I definitely stayed up a little bit later than I wanted to, but I am going to go to bed now and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, good morning. And um, today is Wednesday. Um, I packed my bag because I'm going to college today and made sure I got my noise cancelling headphones and my friend is going to pick me up soon. Hi guys, it's been a while so I thought I would update. I am home now and um, I went to the library for three hours this morning and then I saw my friends who came out of their exams and then we all had lunch and then I came home because my friend is going to a concert tonight and needed to get home so she could get ready and get everything sorted. I'm not actually revising maths or physics, which I have tomorrow and the day after. I'm doing or no, a practice paper for an exam I have next week, just because I'm a lot less confident on next week's exams. So I thought I'd start some revision early whilst I'm getting a bit sick of <laughs> core maths and unit three physics. So yeah, I'm just doing some further statistics right now and then I'll probably do a little bit of maths after but I think I'm going to keep swapping between revision for this week and revision for next week just to, you know, keep my mind going. Hey guys, so it is a lot later. I'm just about to head off to bed. I think it's quarter to ten and I haven't, I don't know, across the whole day I've done six hours but um, a good, like, I'm gonna say like two hours to two and a half hours of that was statistics for next week, just because I couldn't do, couldn't focus on any more maths, but I did all of that. And then I did some more maths just before I had tea. And then I watched like two episodes of Sewing Beat with my mom. So 
I guess not really a great day of revision. I'm quite nervous for tomorrow. I have maths at half nine, which is really early, so I'm planning on waking up at about six. Fingers crossed, which means I'm gonna have to go to bed now to get a really good night's sleep. I need to get an A in maths. And yeah, that's a bit stressful because like physics and further maths, I just need to get Bs. I would like three A's overall, but I know that I can just get Bs to go to uni. But I really, I need an A in maths, so I'm gonna have to work a bit harder, especially since I'm not as strong in applied next week. So I feel like I need to get a better mark in call to counteract the bad mark that's gonna come in applied. So yeah, lots of things to think about, um, but I'm just going to try and sleep, get a good night's sleep, wake up early, go over a few things, like a lot of the, the differentiation, integration, solving equations, that's just like second nature by now, so it's more of the wordier questions that I struggle with, and I definitely need to go over functions. I was going to do it today, but I put it off all day and now it's 10 o'clock. So <laughs> don't be like me. Do your functions and the trapezium rule. Feeling nervous, but I'm just going to give it a go. Well, I say that. We'll see how I feel in the morning. Good morning. So I actually woke up at half five. I was not expecting that. Obviously, I'm a bit nervous and, I, and so that definitely helped with waking up. But um, I've just got dressed quickly, I tied my hair up and I'm just going to go get some water. Not breakfast yet, I think I'll have breakfast around seven, half seven, just because if I eat any earlier I'm going to be hungry in the exam because the exam is two and a half hours. So I answered this question, which I didn't do yesterday, and I've just been going over some random stuff, like some functions, when Newton confirms a bit about the computing rule. Uh, proof of some formulas and I'm just drawing some inverse trig graphs. Feeling quite nervous now but I know I just gotta try my best and fingers crossed. Hi so I'm in my dad's car he's just getting food so as you see I had a subway and I came home but I think the exam was okay. I really think it was okay. So, fingers crossed. Um, I'm really hoping. Hi, so I've been back home for about two hours. I've had a shower and I did relax for quite a bit. But I've done an hour of revision so far. I did circular motion. So now I'm going to do an hour on simple harmonic motion. I'm also going to make sure to look at the experiments because we have been told in advance which experiments coming up. So it's any of the simple harmonic motion experiments and any of the nuclear decay experiments. So that's four experiments in total that might come up tomorrow, which I mean is quite useful as I did not want to learn them all. I did that last year and it was so long boring i'm not gonna lie i haven't looked at any of the experiments yet but um we've got this website called experiments on film where wjc uploaded how to do every experiment so i'm gonna watch the videos of that take some decent notes um fingers crossed also i thought i would talk a little bit more about maths because obviously i don't think i've really said much but it was all right i actually felt more nervous for this one than i felt on Monday, like I woke up really early, I had like six stomach, I still managed to eat breakfast, thank goodness, because it's a really long exam. I got to college and then I went and saw the worker and then she takes me to the exam room. So we got there, we were like, I was like one of the last people in, but that suits me personally. And I sat down, opened the paper, stunning five marker to begin with, a nice little simultaneous arithmetic sequence problem. And I was like, yeah yeah so the first page was all good turn the page and i'm like oh it's getting a bit harder <laughs> um and i was like oh that was really wordy so that's the last so I kept going and i was like i have no idea how to do this no idea how to do this turn the page i could do the last two pages so i was like right just gotta focus on these two middle pages 
they were so hard one of the i got the wordy question in the end but it took me like 20 minutes but i'm quite lucky because i went through them so fast so it gives me a lot of extra time to kind of go back and really do the questions that i got stuck on i did that um the other question i was stuck on no <laughs> i tried i've done some attempt and i thought of another way to do it but i had one minute left so i was like well what's the point but that's really surprised me right because normally this two and a half hour exam all the practice papers i've done an hour and a half this one took me the full two and a half hours so i was like bloody hell <laughs> that took some time i came out and i have similar answers to other people but we don't me and my friends try to avoid talking about answers we just kind of go like this method or this method so yeah um, Twitter did not like that paper, so I don't really know what to think about that, but hopefully I've got a fingers crossed. Hey. Hi guys, so I've straightened my hair and gotten ready because we're going out for food tonight, but I've done, I think it was three hours. Um, I've mainly done circle, circular motion, simple harmonic motion, and I want to do some, um, what's it called? <laughs> Chapter four. I want to do some thermal physics as well. So I've got my bag packed, ready for the restaurant, which is basically got my iPad and textbook in, just so I can do a little bit of work whilst waiting for food. Um, hopefully we're not back too late so I can get a bit more done when I come home and I'll probably try and wake up at 5.30 again because I felt really good this morning waking up so early getting ready doing like a nice hour hour and a bit of work relaxing eating breakfast then going to college like, I really like that so that's the plan hi guys so it is the morning I actually can't remember the last time I filmed but basically last night I went out for food and um we came home and my dad tested me on all 200 of my unit free flashcards which took a long time but it didn't feel like a long time because i wasn't by myself but that was done um it is about half six um i got up about half an hour ago just to make sure i'm up and ready so i'll probably be leaving in an hour and a half um my plan for this morning is to just do some more revision on the topics that are high up so to be honest i think i'm going to focus on thermal physics and then i don't know go in fingers crossed um i'm quite nervous especially for the comprehension but i mean just gotta try my best i'm so nervous hi guys so i am back home now i've been home for about two hours physics pretty good actually like surprisingly good <laughs> i was really really nervous for this one i don't know why but i feel i'd be most nervous for third maths but maths and physics actually put me on edge <laughs> i was one of the last people to go in again it suits me fine first question was thermal physics and it was three marks define each of the quantities and yeah that was all really good and then second question was circular motion which i left the last two parts of and i came back to them at the end because i couldn't immediately think of it and i just wanted to try and get as much done before i had to really like think hard <laughs> so done that question question three was on decay it was actually really nice and our qer was in that question so i think i've got about four out of six because basically it was describe an experiment for how you distinguish between um types of radiation using one absorbers two electric fields or magnetic fields we all had to do absorbers and i chose to do electric fields because i can remember the diagram but the only thing is i wrote out the full experiment for absorbers but I, don't, I didn't know the experiment for the electric field, so I kind of just said about the curvature and how alpha goes to negative, beta goes to 
Do you know what I mean? So I don't think I've got all the marks for that bit, but fingers crossed. <laughs> there was a specific heat capacity question, which I did, and it was all right. Lots of people didn't like that one, but I don't know, it's quite a standard procedure in my opinion. Fission, fusion, binding NG per nucleon, stuff like that. They mixed that up a little bit, pulled a little switch, but that was all right. And then a prac question for simple harmonic motion, which was all good. And then the comprehension. I was really worried for the comprehension because literally some of the averages in Wales before have literally been like 8 out of 20. So I was like, oh no, no. But it was actually a really decent one. Like the first 8 marks was show that calculation questions. So you either got it right or you didn't. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, got eight marks. And the free marker, I didn't really know what to do. And the rest of it, 50-50, whether I get the marks. But I was like, I've got eight. That's all that matters. Overall, this week hasn't been too bad. Um, yeah, I've had fifth maths on Monday, had maths yesterday, physics today, and all of them went pretty good. Fingers crossed next week is the same. I think I'm going to end this video here as my first week of A-level exams. Sorry, it's been a bit all over the place, but honestly, I am all over the place at the moment. So, hope you enjoyed. Let me know how your exams are going, or if you're done, how they have been. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye!